New York coming, Damien. I may be nuts, Jim. Really? I may be nuts. Well, you don't have to spill. I'll take care of it. Even if you're nuts, you know, I think I can do something. Well, I, I may. They always have... say that. There's nothing you make do. All right, go ahead. I think I have what is a hereditary mental illness, because this stock I. Let it... me do the diagnosis if you don't mind, friend. <laughs> Absolutely, sir. Okay. I inherited this position from my grandparents. It's been a monster this year, but it's too big. It's now 42% of my portfolio. But you love it. Trump loves it. Procter & Gamble. Now, this is really the toughest situation, and I find this so often. Here's a stock that I happen to think is the uh, uh, stock of a company that I think is the best managed company in the world. But because of my belief that anything can happen to a stock that they are just pieces of paper, even the terrific people at Procter & Gamble cannot be entrusted with that level of concentration. If you had five stocks, I would say no more than 20% Procter, and I like Procter, this is not like serious, which is much more speculative. You're not nuts, not you're not nuts. But not I think, nuts. No, you're not nuts. Not nuts, not nuts. But, but I think that you, you cut back, cut back a little on the Procter and, uh, and see me for the next 42 years of your life. 